Hey everyone! Welcome to another Stonehearth Desktop Tuesday! Today, let's talk about our next Alpha's tentpole feature, the revised building system. For many years, you've told us how frustrated you are with the bugs in the existing builder. Though we've fixed thousands of building-related bugs, we've heard loud and clear that the last few, plus performance issues, prevent many of you from finishing the buildings you design. You've also told us that the existing building UI is clunky, awkward, and a pain in the neck to use. These two problems were deeply connected because the building UI and the building backend were so related that fixing bugs with the UI, like undo issues, would create situations that would prevent hearthlings from constructing things. Last March, we decided to solve both problems we needed to rewrite the system completely. As you can see in this video, last summer and last fall, we made huge strides in buildings infrastructure and we showed you new ways of building floor plans. Today, let's take a look at Engineer Chris's new voxel slab tool. In Alpha 23's builder, you could use the slab tool to drag out any flat, square slab. You could also connect new slabs to existing slabs, pile new slabs on old slabs, and in the new builder, with all of these visuals here still work in progress, you can still do that. But you can also drag out blocks vertically on terrain, on trees, and on walls. You can select a single voxel and use the drag tool to pull it up. You can select multiple voxels and then drag those voxels up together. You can actually drag your selection left and right, or you can select a section of slab and drag it downwards, creating holes. To make dragging sets easier, you can double-click to select all contiguous regions in a plane. Finally, you can actually paint the voxels, unifying the most popular functionality of the floor tool with the voxel slab tool. So select a color and just go crazy. You can even paint on walls, which does interesting things when dragging walls around. But as Brad likes to say, there's more. Engineer Justin's recent work on roofs means that while it's still possible to make a roof that spans a square building, it's also possible to make roofs that point in different directions for L or other polygonal shaped buildings. You can use this to make dormer windows and all sorts of neat roof designs. In addition to all of this, in the new builder, you can drag and drop windows, doors, and other decor. You can drag out rooms that are dependent upon other rooms. You can see RPG mode across your whole town in a way that doesn't kill the CPU. And you can go from floor to floor with the click of a button. Finally, you can chain a number of these commands together through a single unified undo system, which should be a lot less buggy than our old patched together undo system, where each subtool had to implement undo separately, creating weird edge cases whenever tools had to work together. Next week, let's talk more about how all, of this, how all of this tactile building stuff and really ugly work in progress UI and colored blocks will be replaced by Nikki's new designs. Finally, some unrelated notes. You may have noticed that we release more regularly onto the Steam Unstable branch right now. This is to help the team get more things into your hands faster. As a result, though, please expect that each of these releases will contain only a moderate number of features. Before building can get to you, for example, we'll still need a stair tool, a way to poke holes in floors so that people can go upstairs, and to make all of this work with important features like save load. And that's it for this week. Let us know what you think here in the comments or on our blog at discourse.stonehearth.net. You can also find us on Twitch. A different member of our team streams every Thursday at 6 p.m. PST. See you there, or see you next week!